everyone a warm welcome back to spr online classes and welcome back to mathematics classes too okay here i came here with a new topic that is you all are familiar with a topic name that is polynomial polynomial so you have already uh, studied about this chapter in the previous year class that is in ninth classes we have studied about this polynomial a uh, very basic things in that and uh, you know that what is polynomial and uh, what kind of uh, polynomials are there so what is monomial polynomial means there are many expressions okay many expressions are called uh, in an expressions many terms are there means then we say that is a polynomial right just recapitulate that recap once what we what you have what you people have studied in the previous year classes okay so here the expression so just take down the definition of that or you can say the expression the expression of the form a not x to the power n plus a one x to the power n minus one plus a two x to the power n minus two plus so on plus a n minus one x to the power n and last term is a n okay so just keep in your mind in the previous class that means uh, before uh, starting this exercise or this chapter polynomial we have completed the quadratic equation but in the quadratic equation what we have done there so there also we have taken that general form and that is equated with the zero the complete expression is we are going to equate it with the zero but here we are not equating with the zero polynomial okay Coefficient of one. So just think that one we say the one coefficient will be a n. So like that. So here one condition is there. So that is a not should not be equals to zero. If the terms is going to zero, the highest power. Again, I'm using the terminology. The term that is a highest power. Then what is that highest power about which we are speaking here? So just think. I just said here. The definition of polynomial definition is what the expression of the form a not x to the power n plus this is what a general expression. So a not x to the power n plus a one x to the power n minus one plus a two x to the power n minus two plus so on till the last a n minus one. To the x in, into x to the power one, so that is x itself. It's understood that if I write or may not write, it is understood. Nothing is there to the power of any variable that we say that one is there. Okay, so that plus of a n. So where a not should not be equals to zero. Okay, is called is called. Polynomial. Okay, so what is the polynomial? The expression of the form a the a not x to the power n plus a one x to the power n minus one till that plus a n where a not is not equals to zero is called the polynomial. So here, in general, what we can say an expression, an expression with many terms is called the polynomial. An expression with many terms is called polynomial. Right? See, 
what I have just explained in the first point, I have written the expression there. So each term, see what you can say see here. A naught x to the power n, a one x to the power n minus one, and a two x to the power n minus two. So on a n minus one x and the last one a n are the terms of the polynomial. Terms of the polynomial. And this polynomial we are just denoting with the letter p of x. Okay, we are just denoting with this p of x. P of x is equal to the uh, many terms are there. So what's this second uh, point says? An expression with many terms are called as polynomial. And in this expression, what are the terms? A naught x to the power n, a one x to the power n minus one, a two x to the power n minus two, so on till that the last term a n are all the uh, to, all the points are we say here terms of the polynomial. These are terms of the polynomial. And next thing, what is this x to the power n and here a naught? So this is what. Here variable is, here x is the variable, here x is the variable and a naught a1 a2 right, a naught a1 a2 till a n minus 1 and a n are called coefficient of coefficient of the terms coefficients of the variable x in p of x because we have taken the uh, expression as p of x, right? So when we have taken the uh, expression as p of x, then x be the variable and here whatever the coefficient, that means x to the side, in the left side of x, whatever the terms will come or the numbers or whatever uh, the uh, variables or numbers we are going to write as an alphabetic way. So those are what here constant of the or coefficient of that variable. This is what coefficient of variable, right? So what it consists of polynomial? So polynomial consists here variable and uh, cons variable as well as coefficients. Okay, variables as well as coefficients with the sign. Because without sign we cannot say that is a polynomial. So Along with the sign, all the variables and the coefficient of variables are called the polynomials. That also we can define, uh, in that way also we can define the word polynomial. Okay, so how to define in other way? So, a polynomial is the term, it consists a variable along with the coefficients, variable coefficients along with the sign. Okay, and another way, an expression with many terms. Here terms are a naught x to the power n and uh, a1 x to the power n minus 1 as I have written in the second point. Okay. So this is about the definition of polynomial. So let's move to that types of polynomial. Types of polynomial. Yes, I think you, some of you people have already idea about this, what kind of uh, uh, polynomials are they. And here I am just explaining about that. In generally, so this is what a general form of polynomial and what kind of polynomials are there, I am just going to write here, take down. There is a linear polynomial. And 
क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलिनोम एंड क्यूबिक पॉलिनोम ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग टू डिफाइन अबाउट दिस इंडिविजुअल टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनोम आई जस्ट से The important thing, degree of the polynomial. So, what is the degree of the polynomial here actually? So, uh, yes, shall I first we'll discuss about the degree of the polynomial. Okay, excuse for that. After the degree of the polynomial, we'll move to the types of polynomial. So the highest power of the variable x in a p of x. So next thing, so first one definition we have seen, and next point is we are moving with the degree of the polynomial. polynomial i'm taking here p of x okay degree of the polynomial p of x right so underline that as i have said the highest degree of the polynomial is called the degree of the polynomial okay so the highest Power or the highest exponent of the variable. See here, uh, the highest power of the here x is the variable as I said. So x is the variable and the coefficient means a naught, a x, a one, a two, and so on. Okay. So the highest power of the variable here y is the highest power. Okay. So uh, the least power means here nothing is there is zero. So we are not considering x to the power zero. The highest power of the variable. The highest power I can use that is exponent also. The highest exponent of the variable of x in a p of x. Variable x in p of x. Suppose they have given y, then you can say p of y. Okay, it depends on the variable which variable they have given in a uh, statement. Okay, so here I have written x means the here x be the variable in p of x. x be the variable in polynomial p of x so right here the highest power or the exponent of the variable x in p of x is called degree of polynomial degree of polynomial p of x you can say okay the highest power or exponent of the variable is called okay degree of the polynomial now the types of the for example as i said in this p of x the highest power this is nth nth degree we can say for what is the degree of this p of x suppose they have asked giving the general expression like a a not x to the power n plus a but x to the power n minus 1 plus a to x to the power n minus 2 plus so on plus a n minus 1 x plus a n in this what's the degree of this particular p of x or particular polynomial p of x then you are going to say that is nth degree here nth degree because the highest power means n or n may n be the least uh, the highest one the largest one right so fine so next what are on this base degree of the polynomial on this base we categorized the polynomial or we uh, differentiated the polynomial in the three types 
Okay, many types are there. Just we, are, we have in your syllabus that is only three types. So, okay, write down types of polynomial. Okay, if you want, you can take y also. Types of polynomial. So, in that, first one linear polynomial. And the second one, quadratic polynomial. And the last one, cubic polynomial. Fine. So linear polynomial means the word linear. Linear says here, the general form will be ax plus b, okay, where a is not equal to 0. That means the highest power of the variable is 1 or the highest degree of the variable is 1, okay. The highest degree of the variable is 1 is called linear polynomial. So, here we don't have any other x variable to write or to define in another way. So, we can say the linear polynomial is a polynomial which has the highest degree of the variable is 1 is called the linear polynomial. What is that? The highest variable, the highest degree of the variable is 1 is called that linear polynomial. Then what about this quadratic polynomial? The general form will be ax square plus bx plus c when a is not equal to 0. Because if suppose it becomes 0 then this part also will become 0 and will come again for the linear polynomial. And here also if a becomes 0 then whole term becomes 0. Only b will come it is as a constant. So we cannot have constant terms in a polynomial. We need any variable to define particular way in a polynomial. Right. So next uh, comes to this quadratic what I have said here, the highest degree of the variable, the highest degree of the variable is 2 is called quadratic polynomial where a is not equals to 0. Similarly, we have a cubic polynomial that general expression will be ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b where a is not equal to 0. As I said in this uh, two cases in linear polynomial as well as in a quadratic polynomial. Similarly, in a cubic polynomial also, if A becomes a 0, then x cube also becomes 0. Then it doesn't have and it is not called as a cubic polynomial because here square is there, it comes under quadratic. Right? So, we will define in individually by wordings, statement wise. Uh, just take down if you want fast. Okay, should I love that? polynomial. I hope you already writing, uh, written that uh, definition when I was explaining. Linear polynomial that means a highest degree or the highest degree of the variable highest degree of the variable is 
1 is called linear polynomial. For example, so ax plus b is a general form. Okay. ax plus b and for example we have uh, when a is not equal to 0 it is must condition must satisfies here every time keep in your mind when you are defining any particular statement or the uh, situation in mathematics there is condition must if not writing condition it doesn't mean anything okay so first keep remember when you are defining any uh, terminologies in mathematics first write the condition along with the statement uh, equation okay so for example here we have 2x if constant term is not there also it is polynomial so here uh, then 2x plus 1 and 3x plus 5 and uh, root 3x plus 2 and x plus 1 by 2 so on okay so on so not only, uh, see, in this example, I'll write to minus also. See, plus minus is the rational function is there, I know it's uh, rational and irrational, both are there. Okay, so I'll say at the end of uh, the, uh, defining all the terminologies in uh, types of polynomial, what kind of polynomials are called as, uh, will be consist in that. So let's move to the next one. Quadratic polynomial. I hope you are writing. See, when I am writing the uh, statement, I hope you already written the exact uh, definition of that. So let's move. So the highest, the highest degree of the variable x in p of x is 2 is called quadratic polynomial. Okay. And here the word quadratic came from the word and the name quadratic. So, if you want to just take that. The name quadratic. The name quadratic is derived from the word derived from the word quadrant. Quadrate, which means square, which means, which means square. So, generally we can write a square, therefore we can write example wise. 2x square plus 3x plus 5 or uh, this is what square we can say. So suppose we have a uh, next example will be 5x square plus 5 or 7x square plus 1, uh, 5x. Okay. So there is no constant. If suppose if you are writing like this also 7x square minus 1 by 2. Okay. So on. Likewise, you have the general for, uh, x example for that. And what is when we are looking at this, you can say general form of this quadratic equation will be, sorry, quadratic polynomial will be 
a x square plus b x plus c where a is not equal to zero. Keep remember, I did not write after one particular term or expression zero. Keep in your mind if you are writing equating uh, equating with a expression will be zero, then it becomes a linear equation or a quadratic equation. If suppose you have written equals to zero in front of any other expression. Okay, this is very important. The difference between that polynomial and this uh, polynomial as well as the quadratic equation in between. Uh, very uh, one of the reason is so we have here we don't have equals to zero in that we have equals to zero in quadratic equation. It is quadratic polynomial, so we are not equating with zero. Keep in your mind. Okay, so. Let's move to the general form of quadratic polynomial. General form will be ax square plus bx c put comma because we need here condition where a is not equals to 0. Okay, this is what the general form of quadratic polynomial and which kind of polynomial is called as quadratic polynomial? That is uh, the highest degree of the variable x in p of x is 2 and you can write here also the highest degree of the variable x in p of x is 1. In P of x is 1 is called linear polynomial because we have defining here P of x only, right? So, if you want to take P of y, then your uh, uh, variable y in P of y is 1 you can take. It depends on the variable or the polynomial P of what? y is there, x is there or z. Depends on that, you can write the or define the particular types of polynomial. Okay. So, next we will move to the uh, cubic one. Okay. Cubic polynomial. Yes. What is cubic polynomial after seeing linear and quadratic polynomial? It is very easy to define that the highest degree of the variable x in P of x is 3 is called the cubic polynomial because in a cubic equation what we have done there. So the highest power or the highest degree of the variable uh, is 3 then that is quadratic sorry cubic equation we have said and here it is cubic polynomial okay. So, we can write here the highest degree of the variable x in P of x is 3 is called cubic polynomial. Okay, so we'll give the examples for that. I hope you have taken this types of the polynomial P of X. Okay, cubic polynomial, the highest degree of the variable X in P of X is 3 is called the cubic polynomial. For example, 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5. Here x term is missing. See, the second term is, uh, the second term or the third term is missing means there is no worries at all. We have to concentrate only on the power of the, highest power of the variable. If it is there, then the coefficient must be not equals to 0. Should not be equals to 0. Here 2 should not be equals to 0. Then we can say it is a cubic polynomial. If it becomes 0, then 3x square plus 5 remains and it will comes under the quadratic polynomial. Right? So, 
This is what? 2x cubed plus 3x squared plus 5. And now uh, I can take 3x cubed plus 1 by 5. That is also okay because we are only concentrating on the cubic form. That means highest power of the variable 3, we are concentrating on that particular. Okay, not about the square and the linear. So I can give another example. Uh, 7x square or you can take x cube by 3 plus 5x plus 7. Okay, that is also no. I'll tell you people how I are not uh, taking dividing by that. So this is also so odd. So while looking at this, what we can define in generally, how we can write the general form for this. So it's very easy. After seeing these two equations in general form, so this is also general form of ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d where a should not be equals to 0. See, here also the same thing applies. A should not be equals to 0 means if it is becomes 0, it comes, these terms will become under quadratic polynomial. And if it is comes to 0, so these two skip. Only cx plus d is there, then this will become under linear polynomial. So that here we just concentrating, as I said in this example, only the x to the power 3 beside whatever the coefficient is there, it is there or not. If it is not there, suppose x cube is there. Okay. Only x cube is there. That means here 1 is there. Nothing is there means 1. So what I am saying, how it will be becomes a 0 means, if we don't have anything, only 5x Square plus 7 is there means then we say x to the power 0 with 0. That means x to the power 3 with 0. That means multiply with this again we are getting 0 itself. So only it remains. So what's the point? A should not be 0. Then x cube will comes multiplied with 1. If nothing is there as coefficient of x cube then at least 1 will be there. It's understanding purpose and saying just Keep in your mind, nothing is there means 1 be the coefficient of x cube or particular any variable. Okay. This is about the types of polynomial. Okay. So I hope uh, you have understood these points. Keep in your mind and uh, just be fine. And you can uh, easily identify which one after seeing these uh, types and uh, definition of definitions of types of polynomial you can easily identify which kind of polynomial it is whether it is linear or quadratic or uh, cubic one okay so take them fast a very basic thing we have discussed today and let's discuss some more new, to new concept in this polynomial Integral Okay, let's move to the new topic, that new concept. of a polynomial. So what it is a new thing you are going to study in this class? So that is 
See, zero of polynomial, how to define for any polynomial P of X? For any polynomial P of X, if P of K is equal to zero, okay? Just concentrate what I'm writing here and explaining. For any polynomial P of X, if P of K is equal to zero, then what we say? K is a zero of polynomial. Okay? K is a zero of polynomial P of X. Because in the polynomial P of X, we just replaced where K X is there, just K replace. And where K is the, if suppose after replacing K value in X, so the expressions becomes zero. Whatever expression, suppose here I have given many examples, right? So in X in place of that K value, where K is any integer, okay? Where K is any integer, that K is zero of polynomial. Well, the solution becomes zero. Okay, when we are solving that, substituting the K values in a given expression, or in the polynomial, then we are getting zero means that we can say the substituted value, k value, will be zero of the polynomial. The substituted value is called zero of the polynomial. Suppose uh, if we have ax plus b, okay, ax plus b is a linear polynomial. is a linear polyno polynomial then the zero of a root uh, then we can say then the zero or root or you can say the value of x the value of x of this polynomial can be Can be obtained by obtained obtained as I will say okay obtained as see ax plus b is the suppose I just equating with zero because let us see whether it is zero of the polynomial and what the roots we are getting there because I have said if ax b is a linear polynomial then the zero or root of this polynomial, zero of this polynomial or else root of this polynomial. This zero of the polynomial, the another word it says in uh, as we know that root of that particular x value as we studied in the quadratic equation. What's the root of that quadratic equation and all? So we have seen in such kind of uh, problems in the quadratic equation and here also in the polynomial if ax plus b is a linear polynomial, then zero or root, that means the value of x will be, x of this polynomial p of x can be obtained as, so if ax plus b equals to zero, then which implies ax is equals to writing minus b, because plus b goes that side means minus b. And here, I want only the value of x, Okay, that means zero of polynomial. Zero of polynomial we need here. So that means uh, x I'm keeping there itself and minus b divided by this multiplication is there with the x. So it becomes I'm dividing by this b. Okay, so this is what uh, required root or the zero of this particular linear polynomial. And generally, I have taken as x equals to minus b by a. Okay. So, here, what is this minus b by a? Minus b is your constant, right? It's a constant. It is a minus of constant. 
divided by coefficient of x. And we are going to see this is in the next uh, relations between 0 and coefficient of any quadratic polynomial and all in that we are going to see that is. So just uh, here what, what is the main thing here I am writing this means just to get the values how we are getting the quadratic. Here this is about the linear polynomial I have said and next similarly you can take that is as a uh, quadratic polynomial and a uh, and, uh, cubic polynomial also, okay. So next here, 0 of polynomial, suppose, if you are taking the any value, then only you will get to know by examples. What is actually 0 of polynomial? Okay. So if k is equals to 1, or just take the example, uh, uh, an example, if suppose if you are going to take the example, so that is. P of x is equal to x square minus 3x or any kind you can take. If P of x is equal to uh, 3x square minus 3x square minus x square minus 3x plus 4. This is what P of x. They said you have to substitute the x. x is equals to 1. Okay, just check it out. At x is equals to 1. Is a 0 of polynomial or not? Okay, at x is equals to 1 means here k is equals to 1. Instead of writing your k value, at the given x is equals to 1. So when you are just substituting it 1, so what happens? Okay, so 1 square means 1. So this is 3 plus 4. So next 1 minus 3 is minus 2 plus 4. So this is minus 2. So what we can say it is not a 0 of polynomial because we are not getting uh, there any 0 of polynomial. Uh, we are not getting the resultant value x is if they should get 0 then only we can say this is what 0 of polynomial. Fine. So next if minus 1, suppose if you are taken there, in the next p of x is equal to x square minus 3x minus 4, where x is equal to minus 1. Then what happens? p of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 square minus of 3 1 into 1 minus 4. So this is plus 1 minus 3 minus 4. And here also, what happens? Minus 3, minus 1, so you are getting there. Minus 6. Right? So here also we are not getting the any 0 of polynomial. So some more questions we are just going to discuss in the next when your exercise problems will come so then it is very easy to understand what is 0 of polynomial and which is not 0 of polynomial and all. So next one more thing is there you have to understand in purpose that is representing Geometrical representation. Okay. Geometrical. Geometrical representation. Of polynomial x. Okay. Of p of x. So. A linear polynomial. What it is exactly? See, if you have 
axis. So geometrical means obviously we are going with the axis of co coordinates and all. So x, x dash, y, y dash, i red 0 is the origin. So that linear for ax plus b is the linear polynomial. So that means the degree is 1. So we are getting only the single straight line. So that is what only one line should be comes on this geometry or the Cartesian plane or we can say. So suppose if you are going to take any values like x, 3x plus 5, then if x is 1, so it becomes x is 1, then it is, I just take a table and you are very familiar about this in the previous year classes. x equals to 1 means the p of x becomes what? Okay. If x is 1, then it becomes 3 into 1, 3. 3 plus 5 is 8. And if x is 2, then 2, 3 is 6. 6 plus 5 is 11. So likewise, if x is equal to minus 1, then minus 3 becomes minus 3 plus 5. That is plus 2. So just see that if we have the values like 1, 2, 3 and this is what a P of X we need here. This is P of X where the lines will be lies. So I just say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So by x is 1, so p of x is 8. Here it is. And if 2, then it is 11. So in between this. And next, if minus 1 and y will be 2. So that is p of x is 2. Just joining this, what you are getting, see there, a linear equation. Only one line it will comes. So just how we are representing the linear polynomial on a Cartesian plane or the x-axis and y-axis or we can say in a geometry, in a graphical way, okay. Geometrical representation or a graphical representation also you can say. Graphical representation, okay. Graphical representation. So likewise, if you have a next one quadratic polynomial, That is ax squared plus bx plus c. Suppose if we have uh, 2x squared plus 3. Okay. Then what will be that? Uh, only x I will write. Just take the simple equation here to understanding purpose. Right. See, if x is equal to 1. P of x becomes what? If x is equal to 1, say 1 into 2, 2, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. If x is equal to 2, 2 to the 4. And 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 7 it becomes. So next, if x is equal to 3, 3, 3 is a 9. So, 9 to the 18. 18 plus 3 is 21 and this will be 22. So, likewise, in this you are getting that quadratic polynomial. It may becomes like this. Maybe. Okay, when you are just going to substitute the values. Or on a representation on that, you are getting that two curves and all. So, this is what in generally we are saying. So, just... Uh, upward open and this is called a downward open okay open in a downward and upward open this is what parabola also we can say these curves are called parabola and you are going to study about this parabola and some more uh, what, the curve nature of curves in the in a higher level classes so here uh, this is what upward open and this is downward open. That means where the 
axis will be the curve where it cuts on x axis. The curve where on x axis it will be cut. That is very important. So that is called roots of that or the solution of that or zero of that. How many numbers uh, zeros are there here? That will be depends on the solution. Okay. In detail, we are going to study in the uh, next level, uh, next classes. So before that. See, for example, if you have I'll go with the example, you will get to know easily that you can understand easily if I give the examples and all. So, how to find the number of zeros in particular graphics? Okay, in the graphs. Okay, P of x. How to get the number of zeros of the polynomial P of x? Okay, number of zeros of P of x. So, that is, if suppose, x dash x y dash and next example see find the number of zero okay find number of zeros of p of x in the following in the following so y y dash x x dash and with this origin zero like that so next will be so we are going to see that Next up. In each cases, I have drawn a different kind of curves, okay? On this, uh, four cases. In first case, how many number of zeros are there in particular graph? So, how to find out that? It's very easy. So, the curve on x-axis or any y-axis. If suppose we are taking p of x, it, it, because it's a p of x is there, right? So, on x-axis, it will be depends, not on the y-axis. Keep in your mind, we are defining about the polynomial p of x, not about the y-axis. So, on x-axis, how many uh, points lies when we have drawn the curve? When we have taken the curve, how many points cuts the axis? Or axis is particular x or x, x dash, whatever. But this x and x dash in between, on this line, on x axis, so how many points will be lies? How many points cuts the axis? Okay, that will be matters here when we are finding the number of zeros. So, in this particular first case or the first figure, what we can say, only on this x or x dash, negative or positive, okay, just on x axis, only one point will be lies, number of zeros. So, uh, number of zeros of this particular P of x will be 1. Look at this. Here, and here on y axis, it is cuts the uh, curve, but we cannot say this is also zero of polynomial as I have defined before this uh, explanation only. It depends only on x axis, not the y axis. And now we can say just right here uh, the number of zeros is one. Okay, number of zero here 
the number of zero is one in this figure in the p of x okay in the p of x you can write as the x axis in the in this graph as x axis okay as x axis i know we can easily define this as see here on this x axis what how many zeros are there means how many points lies on this x axis we can say 2 therefore the number of zeros will be 2 the number of zeros are 2 okay similarly in this last uh, third situation uh, the third graph what we can say 1 uh, 2 and 3 are there so number of zeros are 3 are 3 okay so similarly the last situation here y axis on that it is there but we cannot consider in that because it is only p of x so we can say only 2 okay it is not comes under the p of x so on x axis we have only 2 points which cuts the axis so we can say number of zeros will be 2 okay this is just generally I have taken the examples uh, to define you people or to make you people understand that in that way I have explained the giving examples and all so in the next class we are going to see the exercise problems uh, till then take care thank you